this is a demo of torsional resonance mode. At the moment, I am imaging a 5 by 5 nanometer uh, scan. It's probably around 10 by 10 if you factor in the XY positions. As you can see, we can make out the atomic lattice of HOPG in this image. I will show you how I set this up. First, I selected the cantilever and I made sure the laser was aligned to the cantilever um, correctly. Then the second step is to calculate and find the um, torsional resonance and for that I use a Python helper script. This calculates this uh, will do a frequency sweep and record the torsional component and then we select the frequency by moving uh, this bar or this uh, this area around and it auto selects the frequency and we have 258.88 then in the script I set that as a torsional resonance frequency the next step is to turn on the photothermal torsional resonance and now this is set on. I'll actually start by imaging with this off first. You can see we don't getting anything in here in the torsional channel. Now I'll turn this on. And image again. Now we can start to see some of the atomic lattice start to show up. Let's let this run a couple times. Some things I can change, I can change the amplitude of the torsional resonance, uh, the, dr the driving amplitude. I uh, have it set now at 250 millivolts. Let's, I can decrease it. You can see how that changes the effect here. increase it to 500 millivolts go back to 250 and I also can change the the filter and right now I have it at full bandwidth the 12 kilohertz bandwidth but I can reduce the bandwidth and reduce some of the noise that you see there so I can go down to let's say 750 Hertz you can see how that affects the the image quality. It'll get rid of some of the noise, but you might actually lose some of the features too. And that is how you do torsional resonance with the Drive AFM.